July 21st, 2010, 1.30 p.m. And we've been cooking here for a little over half an hour with our wood chips and the pipe. I'll show you what it looks like underneath the grill hood. There's our three quarter inch pipe. You can see the flame impinging on the pipe right there. And that's packed full of wood chips, or wood pellets I should say. The vapors and uh, liquids come out here. They go down to the copper tube, they get a chance to cool, and they get collected inside this cup. Now it's been cooking now for a little over half an hour. And you can see by the action of the bubbles at the end of the tube that we're getting a fair amount of gas out of here and also some liquid. Now what you see in that cup is about 15 minutes worth of collections. Not a whole lot of liquid, but a fair amount of vapors. And they just keep on coming. I don't see much in the way of uh, abatement in the flow rate of the vapors. So it looks like we've got a lot more gasification to do. The ambient temperature inside the furnace right now is 540 degrees. As you can see in one area of the pipe there's flame impinging on it. So one section of the pipe is definitely hotter than the rest. So looking at this, uh, it's really hard to say how much longer this is going to go on. I've tried playing the flame of a torch over that liquid and I have not been able to get the liquid itself to light. Of course being in the cup it's not the best condition for oxygenation. The gases itself, I, I fully expect the gases to be flammable, but by the same token I have not been able to get them the light inside the cup either. When I had the copper tube simply uh, squirting gases out into the air, I tried get, getting it to light as well. And it looked like it might have been burning, but it wasn't a very sustained burn because it's not a very good nozzle. Again, you'll get a good mixture of fuel and air just by having gases come out of a straight pipe. You need some sort of mixing nozzle, and I don't have that. So getting this thing to actually light as it should has been a bit of a challenge. But again, I see what looks like a fairly steady stream of gas coming out. The bubbling rate looks like it hasn't changed at all since we started. We've got a lot more gas to go. And uh, we'll let the experiment continue.